Hello, how are you guys? Welcome to another video. Today I built a modern house and it's a pretty big one. I'm not sure if I can call it a mansion, but it's a pretty big house. It has six bedrooms, it has a gym, a sauna, a home office, and also it has a greenhouse, cause why not? I decided to build this house thinking about how I usually play the game, which is not very often, to be honest, but when I play the game, I always manage to have plants in my house and my sims are always gardening, even though I never take care of plants in real life. I just can't keep them alive, but I don't know, I just love having planes in The Sims for some reason. So I usually have a small greenhouse or sometimes a big one as well. And even when I play in apartments, I usually choose the apartments that have a balcony so I can put some plants in there. I don't know, I just always like to play with some plants. So I decided to have a big greenhouse in this house because, you know, the house is big, so the greenhouse can be big as well. It makes sense, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. It took me a long time to build this house because, you know, it's enormous. I'm not used to building houses this big anymore. Lately, I've been doing a lot of stop motions instead of speed builds. So doing a stop motion for a big house takes a long time. Even for small houses, stop motions take a long time to do. So I was avoiding building these bigger houses, but I miss doing them. I miss building ginormous houses, basically. So I did a speed build for this one and I'll probably be doing more speed builds because I really miss them. And I have been a little bit traumatized with stop motions. Because I tried to do some bigger houses in stop motion and, you know, it took a long time to do it, obviously, so I'm kind of sick of them at this moment. So I'll be doing a few speed builds and maybe I'll do, I'll do stop motions again, I don't know. At this moment, uh, I'm more inclined to do speed builds so yeah here i am i'm using a lot of the two mod lately i just can't stop using i had the two mods some time ago but i didn't get used to it so i just used it for a little bit of time but i don't know i just wasn't i just wasn't liking it very much i was used to use only the game and what we have in the game but then i decided to try it again i think it was for a harry potter build i'm almost sure it was to build the hagrid's hut i wanted to put some spiders around the lot and i could only do it with two and that's when I decided to install it again and try it again. And since then, I never stopped using the tool mod. I just can't. I just can't live without the tool mod. And using the tool mod, I realized how limited the game is for doing some stuff. But so... I did this house also with darker colors. I like using darker colors. I went through a phase of using basically just white some time ago. 
I would use only white and lighter woods. But now I'm in a darker phase. I went to the dark side and I really like using some darker colors in my builds, including just black. Black walls, black everything. So I used a lot of blacks and and darker woods in this house. Honestly, I would furnish it with even darker colors. If it was a house that I would play in, actually, I would probably use way more black and way more darker colors than I used in this house. But even though I was thinking a lot of how I play the game when I built this, I also wanted to do something that I think more people would like it and I don't know, I don't have the impression that a lot of people would like a completely black house as I would like. So I decided to mix things a little bit and use some lighter colors as well and that's what I did. I even started doing the kitchen of this house with way darker colors than it ended up being. And also the kitchen right now is in the middle of the house and there's no windows there and it was pretty dark already. So in the end, when I was finishing the house already, I decided to delete that wall between the kitchen and the dining room so so it has the windows from the, the dining room and now it's all only one room it's more of an open plan at least in that part of the house so that way the kitchen has more natural lighting because honestly this kitchen with this dark colors and no windows, it was getting me a little claustrophobic and I wasn't liking it. I couldn't make it work, so I just decided to delete that wall and I think it is way much better now. But yeah, I will only change it at the end of the video. And another thing that I do a lot when I play the game is making my sims work out. <laughs> Do I work out in real life? Maybe. Not as much as I make my sims work out, but I do a little. <laughs> but for some reason, I also like to put my sims to work out. I, I kind of like to see progress in some way. And I think it's kind of hard to see progress in The Sims 4. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll try. Like, when my Sims work out, I can see some kind of progress. I can see my Sims getting some abs, which I wish I was seeing in myself. But well, that's another thing. It takes a lot longer in real life, but okay. And one thing that I can see some progress in a way is when I put my sims to cook a lot. So as they're getting better at cooking, they can unlock new recipes and that recipe list gets longer and longer and has more recipes to do and it's kind of a progress in some way. So that's something I, li I like as well. Also with the plants, you know, planting them and seeing them grow and stuff like that. I don't know, I like progress in some way and I miss that in The Sims a little bit. I think that's a thing that makes me bored of The Sims 4. I don't think even the other games are not great at it. Like The Sims is more of a sandbox game. And I've been playing other games recently, like Cyberpunk. And games like Cyberpunk, you can have a lot of progress 
as you get better and as you play, you can unlock new things, you can unlock new perks, and I wish I had more of this in The Sims. But yeah, I don't think that's a problem with The Sims, because that's not really what the game is about. At least, I don't think so. But it's something that I like to do some way. So I always play with the goal of making some amount of money or maximizing some skills or maximizing a career and that kind of stuff, you know, that I can see progress and that I can make progress. So I'm not a, a family gameplay kind of person, <laughs> of player, but yeah. What am I talking about? <laughs> Why am I talking about it? I don't know. And another thing that I did in this house that I wouldn't usually use a lot in my game <laughs> is the kids' bedroom. Because I don't like playing with kids a lot. I think they are kind of boring. So I don't usually play with them. Although they're there are some cool things that you can do with them. They have some skills of their own, which is kind of cool. There are some stuff to do with them, but I don't play a lot with them. But I see a lot of people that play a lot with kids and have that family gameplay. So I made a couple kids rooms and actually I started doing more kids rooms after I started this channel because <laughs> before the channel when I only played the game for fun I barely knew what kids objects we had in the game because I barely ever play with them but yeah I kind of like this about building in the sims that that I end up doing a lot of things that I usually wouldn't and I think that's very cool because I already did a lot of buildings that I would never think of doing but because of this channel I do a lot of cool stuff thanks to you guys that watch my videos because if it wasn't for you I would not be doing this so thanks a lot so, one more thing that I did in this house, thinking about how I played the game, was having a butler's bedroom. Because I like to have butlers with my rich ass sims. I have no idea how many people actually play with the butlers, but I like playing with them when I have rich sims. So I made a little bedroom a bit separated from the rest of the house in a more private area, but that could be anyone's bedroom, honestly. And one interesting thing is that actually, I think the butler's room is actually my favorite one. I have said it before in this channel that I really like more simple things you know in real life i like more minimalist decoration i don't like having a lot of stuff around so honestly the butler's room is my favorite one is the one i would choose to be my bedroom <laughs> or the one with the blue bed just because i like blue and it doesn't have a lot of stuff but yeah <laughs> oh well but that's all i had to say I'm gonna go now and leave you with the rest of the speed build. I hope you like this house. My gallery ID and the link for the tray file are in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.